So, next edition of Super H Travels visits the KCOM Stadium, home of Hull FC. So, the Super H Stadium travels up in Hull this evening, and as with every visit up to Hull, we always start with the Humber Bridge, we just go on under it now, you should just be able to see it in the distance there. Just about to pass under, should get a decent view on it in a minute. There we go. The famous Umber Bridge, as I always say, spelt with a capital H and not a U. Proves that we are officially on the way to home. Bit of a long journey, but we are finally here at the KCOM Stadium. Super 8 Stadium travels, fourth visit here overall. In terms of the programme, the 18th man. Priced at £3. Good read as always, definitely 10 out of 10. Danny Alton on the front. So, contestants just the KCOM Stadium. Decent price as well, the Hunger Bridge. Decent contestants, Dan's he got about a 7 or 8 last time. We'll see what they get this time. <laughs> last time we came here, the rating was about, I think it was a 7 for the concessions. That was a little unfair because we all deserve a good rating tonight after the 43 last time. I think the concessions were prices. I'll give it a 9, because the, the pint for £4.30 is a bit steep, so a 9 out of 10 I'll say for that. So here we are in the KCOM Stadium, in the traditional away end, where we usually sit in the East Stand over there. We're not using tonight, for some reason I don't know. Sadly Facebook Lives are not playing up well tonight, so I can't use that. But anyway, out and about, Super Stadium travels here at the KCOM Stadium, Wigan, Funnel FC, Super H Round 5. Statistics for tonight, 219th overall game for me, 206th Wigan won, 13th against Real FC, hopefully not an unlucky 13th, 9 wins, 3 losses so far, currently on a 2 game losing streak, my 4th visit to Hull FC, I've yet to lose one, so let's hope the 4 and 4 is a good one. 50th away game for me, so it is a milestone one tonight. Hoping to avoid this 65th loss overall, which out of 219 games wouldn't be too bad, 47th rugby league game of this year for me. How I've done it, I don't know. 12th Super League game overall. So, out come the teams. We can win the Illuminous Strip, which I should have chosen tonight, but I went with the blue and white. Not exactly what you'd call a sellout here, but hey, it's not far off, is it? Take the East Stand out. East Stand over there, pretty much full. South stand over there, North stand over there, and obviously the Wigan fans up the back here. Large atmosphere, definite 10 out of 10 for that. Not the best of first halves here at the KCOM. Wigan still can't score double figures in one half. I'd love to know when it's going to happen. Half time at the KCOM, all 12, Wigan 4. Last time we came here, Paul did get a bit of a negative for entertainment. So this time round, we will feature the entertainment, which is in the far, well, far end over there, the Early Angels. Entertainment should get about a 9 or a 10 tonight, to be honest, it has been pretty good overall. Straight. Do the entertainment, just trying to kick the ball into a car over there in the far corner, that one didn't work. That one wasn't much better, to be honest. Watching into the car. He's got one more go here. Nah, going nowhere though. That's his lot, he didn't win that one. So, final minute here at the KCOM. Smith lines up to take a penalty goal. This isn't to draw though, this is to confirm the win. Wigan currently 16 12 up. He's not going to miss, we, well, we hope not. Hey! Lovely, lovely, lovely. Well done. Daddy! Absolutely brilliant. Wouldn't have predicted that for 10 minutes ago. Would not have predicted that. Full time at the KCOM Stadium.
Hull FC 12, Wigan 18. Four visits, four wins. Warrington next week. Apron for Wigan, and my perfect record maintained. Four visits, four wins. As far as stadium travels is concerned, I'll definitely get a better rating than last time. I think here yeah, I'd possibly a 47. In terms of ratings, as mentioned just slightly earlier in the video, Hull FC gets a 47, which is an improvement of four points on the early visit in the season, as you can see by the asterisk there, which means temporarily they're in the top three, and the reason I say temporarily is Warrington is to come next week. That may get an extra one or two points, seeing as we haven't been there for a while, and potentially a grand final visit at Old Trafford may well match Magic Weekend. The reason the four points improvement, the entertainment was a lot better this time, moving from a seven to a nine, just a little tiny bit off a of 10. We may end up going there in the playoffs, so we could get a 10 that time. The The facilities remained a 9 out of 10 because it was fairly the same. Obviously, I didn't spot any sign. Usually, we see a sign saying, welcome from so 100 miles away. But it doesn't dampen it. It just doesn't improve. The concessions was an improvement. Got a bit more information about it this time. So, 47. Obviously, all FC fans won't be too chuffed about being behind all KR. But OKR was a really good one this year. So hopefully you may visit that next year. And obviously next year there will be an edition of Lee as well. So Stadium Travels will move on to Warrington next week.